Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you some baby prep that I've been doing. So I am currently about five weeks out from my expected due date. So it seemed like the right time to collect a few items. I'm usually pretty minimal about this. I shared a minimal baby haul, I believe when I was pregnant with Micah and with Daniel, just the things that I was buying at the time, but it never is very much. I only ever need just a few new outfits and newborn diapers. Now, there are more things that I have that I have from previous babies, which I'll explain more of, but I never need a whole lot, but I do need a little bit. And of course, it's just fun to get on and plan a wardrobe for a baby that you have coming. So first I will go into some of the clothing items that I purchased and then some of the other essentials that I have or that I've collected this time around. So I went with a very neutral vibe, which isn't shocking, that's what I usually do, but I steered clear this time of the grays in the last couple of babies, the newborn outfits that I purchased, I went with sort of gray neutrals but this time I was really feeling like the cozy tans and whites and I thought it also would lend itself really well to a girl if this one does happen to be a girl. If you follow along with my channel you might know that the last four babies I had were all boys so obviously I have it in my head that it's going to be a boy but if it is a girl this would all be very darling on a little girl as well. So one thing I purchased was this zero to three sweater. This is just so cute for a baby that's gonna be born at the end of October. I just imagined this with some leggings and just like a onesie underneath, just for maybe photos, I don't know. Most of the time, the baby will be wearing little outfits like this. Now in previous baby hauls, I talked about how I avoid anything that requires socks and typically I like to do that because babies don't really keep socks on, but the cutest things that I found this time around didn't have footies in them. So instead I did just, we'll see if I regret this because I haven't done baby socks in so long, but I got a pack of newborn or zero to three white socks and then I got tons of these adorable little leggings that are going to require socks. But you know what, if we're around the house and the baby's in my wrap, they won't need socks anyways. And they're just all so super cozy and interchangeable. That was my goal. I plan to just throw everything into a wicker basket, have it sitting in my room, my wrap, my swaddle blankets, the clothing, the nursing pads, and then just not even fold it, just pull very mix and match. And so that's why I did put forth the effort of coming up with something that looked very cohesive. I also got a pack of newborn size onesies that will also be really cute with all of the pants. Very mix and match, so you know I could pull a million different directions. I like that because anytime an outfit is too matchy matchy, if you end up getting a stain on one part of it, you really can't use the other part of it, or if you lose it, so I'm not super organized, so one of these pants, whenever the kids are putting laundry away, could end up in Daniel's drawer for a while, and then we won't find it for a while. But with everything in this white and tan color scheme, it's all so mix and match. It doesn't really matter what I pull out, it'll all be adorable together. I also did get a couple of the Sally Baby Sleepers. This is something that I also did get whenever Daniel was going to be born or for him because they are the coziest little things. Again, just a little two-piece outfit. Now theirs does come with little footies on them. I believe they are sized, okay, yeah, this is zero to three months, which is perfect. They just look so cozy they're like a really lightweight fabric just like the baby wrap that they have and so these are the two outfits that are those but they still mix and match with all the things that i purchased from other places i got everything online and i kind of kept it all on my desktop with little screenshots just to make sure that everything would really just be mix and match super easy i don't have to worry about clothing which normally I don't. And that's all I'll need for the first three months at least in clothing is what is contained in this basket. Next on the list are some nursing pads. Now I've made these myself 
in the past. I have used ones that I purchased online in the past. I wanted something that would be a little bit more absorbent and I kept reading really great things about this brand. So I thought I'd give them a try because they're really lightweight and everybody in the reviews just swore that they were the most absorbent nursing pads they ever had. So not something to really camp out on, but you do need these if you're going to be nursing, which I've nursed all of my babies. The next thing on the list, the most important thing in my opinion, that any new mom needs is a baby wrap. So my favorite for newborns is a stretchy type of wrap. I've used the Boba, I've used the Sally, I've used the Moby. I even have a video here on YouTube that is very, it's probably my most popular video of all time, uh, of just me showing you how to wrap and it was Micah and I used the Sally baby wrap. I love this one because it's really lightweight. It works if you're going to be wearing it basically as your shirt all day, which is typically what I do. I just tuck the baby in, pull the baby back out, and this stays on. I have a couple of these actually. I have a blue one, and then I also got this one just because it is just really, really uh, adorable with a little pattern. I just had to have it. Now when Daniel was a baby, for the first time ever, I really got used to wearing a woven wrap and I really actually liked it a lot. I got used to tying it. So I'm sure I will also use this. I really like these for little teeny tiny babies to keep them really cozy. But then a woven wrap is better for whenever they are quite a bit bigger because it doesn't stretch so they don't weigh it down. Now another one that I got this time around that I'm really excited about trying is the Sally Baby Loop Carrier. It works like the woven wrap in that it is great for older kids because it's not stretchy, but it does have the loop on the back. I've actually never tied one of these, so I'll have to be figuring it out and I will show you on this channel how to do that. I've done videos on this channel on how to do um, all the other wraps pretty much, but I have not yet done the loop carrier. Now, another thing that I've had from past babies is this, it's probably really dirty because I used, yeah, I need to throw this in the wash. I use this so much with Daniel. Once he got to a certain age and I could put him on my back, it's just the Kinder Pack. This is wonderful because you can put them on your back whenever they're a little bit older. I absolutely loved this thing. So again, these are not really necessarily a newborn item, or that's not really a newborn item, but some kind of wrap will be worn by me for six months straight at least, and then we'll see how the baby does. A lot of my babies were transitioning into sleeping down for at least a little bit every day, around six months, so I'm sure at some point um, I'll be taking breaks from the wraps, but for six months they will be a wardrobe mainstay, and so I wanted something really pretty and I feel like I have like a nice collection at this point. I actually have a friend who's having a baby so I have a few extra wraps I'm gonna send her way because I've accumulated a lot. All right, the next thing I purchased for this upcoming baby, it's actually more for me, is this nursing sweatshirt from Latch Mama. I saw this when I was pregnant with Daniel and I always wanted it, never bought it. I finally did buy it this time. Uh, it just, the reason I wanted it is because I find that all winter long, or at least like this winter, when I'm having the baby at the end of October, all through the entire winter, I'm going to be wearing a wrap as my shirt pretty much. And that means that whenever you're trying to be warm, you need to put a sweater over it or a jacket. And I found myself always wearing like the same ugly jacket just because it was most convenient. And I wanted to be able to wear an actual shirt. But the problem is when you're wearing the wrap and you're taking the baby out to nurse really quick, there's no access. And so a jacket plus a tank top under the wrap is pretty much the only combo that works. And so I bought this, it's a nursing sweatshirt. And it looked really cute on the model. It won't look cute on me right now because I'm super pregnant, but it has a little petal detail at the bottom and it even has pockets. So I think this will probably end up being like a complete wardrobe staple this winter, fall slash winter. And so we'll see. 
Now, as far as baby gear, some things that you will likely need if you're having your first baby are a car seat. And I actually don't need one because I need to purchase instead one for Daniel because he'll be moving out of the infant carrier and into a larger seat, which is what we do every time. We almost always just need to get a seat for an older child and then the younger child will get the car seat. Now car seats do expire, but the one that I have for Daniel, I actually purchased new when he was born. So it is still, at least I haven't checked it, but I'm pretty positive it's still not expired. I will check it. Another thing I need to do is I want to sew up a couple new swaddle blankets. I just purchased some muslin and I'll cut it and hem the outside edges. And these will mostly just be for receiving blankets. Whenever the baby is born, you need something to, you know, you put them on your chest and something to kind of wrap them up in. And that's what I plan to use this for. Now I was very adamant about how much I love swaddling whenever I shared this same video with Micah. I've since learned that maybe swaddling isn't the best thing to do. So I didn't really swallow, swaddle Daniel at all. I actually had swaddles and I shared them on the baby essentials video that I did for Daniel. But then my midwife, when I had Daniel, actually told me not to swaddle him. And so then I never really used them for that, mostly just receiving blanket. So I have a few. I'm gonna make up a few more. These are also really good to throw in the diaper bag for nursing. They're a nice weight for spit rags. So I like to have them around, but not a ton. I'm just gonna make a couple of those up. I do also have my nursing cover that I showed you on this channel. I made a tutorial for how to make. I use this tons with Daniel. You can see it has a lot of wear because when I'm nursing a baby, I always have one of these in my diaper bag. So I'll just use the same one for this baby and we'll be good to go. It just kind of goes around your neck so it makes it really easy to see the baby. There's a little boning here so that you can, it actually sticks out so you can look down and see the baby. That'll just go in the diaper bag. For postpartum, I received this from my friends over at the Down to Birth podcast. They asked if they could send this. And this is something that I actually believe I had something similar. I'm not sure it was the exact blend as this. With Daniel, you can make a little postpartum soothing type of thing that you can either use in the bathtub or make the padsicles. So they sent me all the stuff to make that. This particular postpartum soothe blend says it relieves itching, promotes healing, it's anti antimicrobial and reduces inflammation for sitz baths or frozen petsicles. So I will probably make these up um, closer to time, right before I believe that I'm in labor or maybe even when I'm in labor, I will do that. I usually have nice long labor with nice long warning. So I'm not too worried about not having enough time for that. Another gear thing that I have is with Micah, I got the Four Moms Mamaru. It's like a little pod thing they sit in. And I have them with Daniel and Daniel didn't care for it at all. He just exclusively wanted to be in the wrap. Micah actually would let me put him down some in it. And so I still have it, it's out in the barn. I will probably, possibly bring it in to see if the baby likes it. Probably more than likely, I'll just be putting the baby in this wrap right from the beginning because this keeps them close and safe away from all of the siblings. When you live in a house with six other siblings, uh, down is not really always an option. So especially because where the way our house is set up, all the bedrooms are upstairs. So there's nowhere to really put the baby off and away without being on a different level from the kitchen. And so I don't even know if I'm gonna end up bringing that in. I might try it, we'll see. I feel like every time I have a new baby, I instantly remember how it all works, how to care for a newborn, how to make your life, you know, to where you can still do what you need to do and still have a newborn. But like before it, I always am almost like I never did it, done it before, but it always comes right back. I'm always like, exactly how did I get everything done with the newborn and then I, somehow figure it all out all over again every time. As far as sleeping arrangements, I know it's controversial, but you guys know if you follow along with my channel because I have done this with all of my babies. The baby will just be with me 
and we won't really need any kind of crib at least until actually Daniel just started going in a crib around six months I had him in a pack and play in my room and so we still do have that it's actually the four moms that same brand very easy to put up and down pack and play and so he would sleep in that some um, at nap time and overnight but he just now moved into the crib and we're kind of shifting kids around so that the baby can be in my room with me. But I'm not gonna have any kind of bassinet or crib or anything set up probably for about six months. More gear that you need for a baby. High chair, I already have that. And that's about it. Babies are, especially newborns, really simple to care for. I can fit everything that I need besides a pack of newborn diapers, which I still need for sure. That's one thing that I always purchase like right before the baby's born, a pack of newborn diapers. But I can fit everything I need for that tiny little human in this basket and be good to go. You don't really need all of the gadgets. A lot of times you don't even end up using them. I like to keep it really simple. I also like to keep it really minimal, minimal amount of clothing. If you keep a small amount of clothing like this, the baby will wear all the outfits so many times that you don't really even have to save anything because most likely it'll all just be destroyed by the time you move on to the next size. And that's always my strategy low inventory, and then we use it to the fullest and we don't have to store it away. I'm not super organized, and so that is how I keep it really, really simple. All right, well, what would you add to this list? What are your must-haves for a newborn baby? I am so excited. This makes me a lot more excited to see these tiny clothes to meet my baby in, gosh, not even, not even two months from now, which is insane. At the end of October, I will get to find out if we're having a boy or a girl and I'm really excited. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.